Welcome to today's video. This is 17 free patterns for your spring summer wardrobe and none of them are dresses. There's a few skirts but no dresses because there are so many beautiful free patterns for dresses I could not narrow it down and I think it deserves its own video and I'm not in a, a dress phase of life right now. So we're going to kick off with shorts and I have made both of these patterns so I do actually highly recommend them. The first is the Sporty Shorts by the Friday Pattern Company. I have made two pairs of these now and the only reason I've not made a third pair is because I do not need any more shorts. I do not need any more shorts. I love these. These are amazing. The next one is the Erinus Shorts by Mood Fabrics and these are like basically bike shorts, um, cycle shorts, whatever you want to call them. And I've made one pair of these out of scrap fabric. And when I tell you they are so ridiculously comfy, paired with like an oversized t-shirt, they're like perfect weekend shorts. Like if you're just, if you've got, so I wear them like around the house, like cleaning. When I'm in one of my cleaning moods, I will put my shorts on. If I'm not leaving the house for the rest of the day, like I've come in, we've had dinner and I'm not good. I know I'm not going out in the evening because it's raining. I will throw my shorts on. So I have included a couple of skirts because I keep seeing on Instagram some really beautiful living skirts. I don't generally wear that many skirts, um, but I think I'm moving to a phase of my life where I need clothes to grow and shrink with me as my body changes through the seasons. So the shorts, the two shorts, they both achieve that. So this skirt is the pocket skirt by Peppermint Magazine and it's just really simple skirt so it's a line it's got two giant pockets on it which i probably do more like in inline pockets but i still like that it's got a gigantic stretchy waistband and with the top that the lady has it paired with i think it just looks really cute and i think a nice like medium weight linen you just can't go wrong with linen in your wardrobe i don't think i think it just suits all the seasons, not all the seasons, but it just transcends time. So it would still be like fashionable in like 50 years. So another one by Peppermint is the Pinafore, Milton Pinafore. And I just like this because I feel like the shape of the skirt is really flattering. But the fact that it's got the Pinafore on top, so if you're not feeling like you want, you just want to like dress it down and keep it casual, like throwing on a basic tee underneath will just sort of make you feel like look just so much more put together um and I just I think this is on the list because I have just I really I <laughs> just really want to make this and I've just not gotten around to it there's no zips on this this is there is quite a few buttons though so be prepared and this next one is called the DIY button up skirt and I just think this one looks really beautiful and it's not a print a home pattern it's sort of measure yourself and make your own pattern which I've never done one of these I watch these videos all the time and avid consumer of that type of content and I never do it because I'm so I'm so lazy there's basically it. I'm so lazy so I've been going through some of my social media comments and one of the comments I've got was um about reviewing my wardrobe is like maybe at the stage of needing to start refining your skills. And I think this is a perfect place to start because it's got a few darts on it. It's got some buttons. You can have the slits high or low as you want. And I just think it looks like a really lovely casual skirt. Like the lady has it paired with trainers and just a casual t-shirt and she just looks, just she just looks cool. And there's a full tutorial on YouTube. You know I love a good tutorial. Like if you've got a good video on YouTube, about your pattern, I want to make it. So next section, we are into my favorite item of clothing ever. The most impractical, right? Don't get me wrong. They are impractical for life. And the fact, if you might actually want to stay covered while you pee, play suits and jumpsuits. So this one is by So Magazine. So you have to log in to download it, all of that shenanigans. And this one just looks really, I have this pattern that I bought, 
I can't remember what it's called, and it's very similar because I like a good collar. And for this one here, I like the fact that the it's got pockets. It looks like it's got some shaping with maybe some um, some pleats. Um, the buttons go a wee bit further down than what they do on the pattern that I bought. And it's got a tie at the waist. So I like something that sort of highlights my waist instead of being like a sack on me. So I've seen some beautiful slip dresses, but I think on my shape, it has to be sort of so big up here to accommodate my hips. And then it just looks like a sack. I think that's, I made a play suit um, I think last year. Um, I did a short on it a few, a few days ago. And it's just not, I, I need I need shaping so today I really like what I have on it's the Seguru top by Fire Pattern Company because it brings me in the waist and sort of my trousers so the next pattern we have the linen overalls and this is on fabric store and I one I think it's the color that brought me in because it's like a rusty orange but I just think a good pair of overalls like you can make these long or short, like I could probably make the shorts. Just, it's just very good to just having like a casual weekend. Like if you're in your garden, trying to dig out all the millions of weeds that keep growing back every single week and they're driving you up the wall. Or if you want to wear a nice blouse underneath, you can sort of elevate your look a little bit. I just think they're really versatile and really comfy. You just throw on your dungarees, your overalls, and you're sort of ready to go. I end up wearing my red ones by turning the button all the time, even though they're like a wearable toil and I need to make some proper ones. That's how versatile they are. I don't particularly like the red ones at all. I think they're quite ugly, but they're just so easy to throw on. So on the last jumpsuit is by Fabric Store and it's the Celine pull-on jumpsuit pattern. And this has, it's got the nice v-neck which I like, elasticated waist and it's at the waist so again it's highlighting your waist and you can pull it on so there's no no zips. If you want to make the v a bit more, a bit more v, you can. So I then versatile i don't think this has pockets in it oh, it does have pockets and it has pockets it has pockets you need pockets in your life so this looks really pretty and it comes in um you print at home so and it comes up to size 28 to 30 as well so i really i do really like this um yeah and i just think in linen as well it's just really timeless so we're moving on to some tops now now i don't think these are all of my style but i'm trying to get out of my comfort zone a wee bit so this is more of a cropped style which i don't always feel comfortable in but that's all i'm showing and i don't think that's offensive i've like made a more modest at the front because it was just a bit too much um and you know i'm just trying to get a bit more a bit more out of my comfort zone to try and find other stuff that i might love like this is out of my comfort zone I love this. I'm so freaking comfy. Like, I mean, that's all I have to say. So the first one is the Luna Tank. I think this gets recommended all the time. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know. It looks a bit, mm, a bit plain. But I think it actually is quite versatile because you can make it in so many different fabric types, which will give it a different drape, a different flowiness. And it doesn't look like it takes that much fabric either. And I could just imagine being just spinning around, flouncing around in this because it just looks fun and you can make it longer or shorter. So if you're a fan of um, shapeless dresses, this, you could hack into a dress easily um, and put a couple of ties on if you want a bit more shape. Or you can make it a bit shorter, a bit more cropped. And yeah, I just think it's quite a good basic that doesn't use too much fabric. So the next is make it, make it yours, the, the label, I don't think I said, make it yours. And it is just a crop top bustier type thing, but it has a YouTube video. And the girl's wearing this lilac one and it just looks super pretty. Um, I would possibly make it an inch or two longer, but it's got like really nice wide straps. And I think 
it would go really well with the um, Erinus cycle shorts at the beginning because she's wearing it with some leggings. Um, so I think as a set, like if you just want to do a, a cheeky workout maybe, or you just want to feel cute in a matching set, this is lovely. Um, and again, if you've got like high-waisted shorts or trousers, or you just, I think this would be quite good throwing under like dungarees or overalls because your overalls are sort of covering you up anyway. So you've only got like a little bit of your side, which I think like a little bit skin, a little bit of peeking. I think that's quite cute. And in a similar vein, it's by Cool Stitches, a twisty crop top. And the back got me for this one. I am a sucker for like a backless top. And this one just looks like it's cut perfectly. Um, like right across the middle of your back. It And it's quite, it's got enough length on the front that I think with some like high-waisted shorts or high-waisted trousers, or even like, um, not even necessarily high-waisted, but normally waisted. So where your natural waistline is, where your natural, your slimmest part of your waist is, this cuts like there really well. And I, again, with the wide patterns, the wide shoulders, straps, again with the wide straps, I just think this looks quite pretty. Um, Again, a little bit out of my comfort zone. But then I don't think, why should clothes be aged? Why should you only have to be 20 to wear something like this and not 30 something? So I have to put in a basic because you just, you can't not get have basics in your wardrobe that sort of span the seasons. And this is by the Grain Line Studio and it's the Hemlock Tea. And what I liked about this is basically the simplicity but also the fact that they're showing it on different models um, and different body types and it seems to suit them all it looks really nice i like the drape because they're using um it's some sort of stretch fabric and i like that you can change the look of this so if you want it more cropped you can you can lower shorten the sleeves lengthen the sleeves um, I have a t-shirt dress um, that I sometimes wear with uh, my trousers and this t-shirt, the hemlock tee, looks like the perfect dress to be able to make into a t uh, the perfect top to make into a t-shirt dress as well. So it's got a rounded neckline, uh, dropped shoulders and a deep hem allowance, which I like a deep hem allowance because it gives me a little bit of leeway when I'm making, so I think sometimes with narrow hems, you sort of finish something and you go, oh, I actually wish that was a wee bit longer. Um, or, you know, I wish, usually a wee bit longer actually. So yeah, I really do like that t-shirt and I kind of want a few more basics in my wardrobe that can go under other stuff and sort of span more seasons. So this one I wasn't sure about putting in because I don't think it looks the best on the model and that's the wrap top by Peppermint magazine but I have been on Instagram and looked at the hashtag which is peppermint wrap top and it looks quite versatile I would use the I would cut the sleeves off this one have it more short sleeved or even just as like a tank so with no sleeves um I like the fact that it is a wrap so if you're feeling a little bit more you know, I've just eaten a burger and chips versus, hey, I fast. I'm fasting and I'm feeling quite trim today. <laughs> you, it will change with you. Or like over winter, you may be feeling a little bit more cozy and in summer, maybe a bit more trim. So I like, I like clothes that will grow with you like through the seasons, through the seasons of your life. You know, I don't have the same body as I did five years ago. And that is fine. I can't just make projects for the body I want which is a body that is a lot stronger than what I'm currently so I do like this and I don't know I'm mixed on it I think it would be quite nice in a stretch material so a la uh, one of the Tilly and the Buttons wrap cardigan I think I think this would give those sorts of vibes so another top by 
fabric store this time is the Chelsea Linen Raglan Tee. I like this one for how sort of different it is. So the sleeves, I've never made these types of sleeves before and it just looks, just looks like a really good basic. Like especially in the white, I just think it looks really cool and something that will go with so many things in your wardrobe and it looks like you've put like a little bit of effort into your wardrobe that day into what you're wearing they're wearing like this really beautiful um linen top like they call it a t-shirt pattern a tea pattern but it's, it sort of gives me blouse vibes t-shirts in my head are more like made out of stretched jersey like a cotton jersey whereas this looks a bit more like a blouse and it just gives you a bit more of a elevated look with the like the simple design the fact it's got raglan sleeves there's some delicate pleating in the neckline as well so if you've never done pleating i think it's a really good place to sort of start and it just sort of elevates your look a wee bit but you can also throw it on with jeans and a cardigan and be completely ready for autumn as well or if it's feeling a wee bit colder so I do like this one, the fact that it's just a, a simple basic. I don't think you can go wrong with simple basics. So I've got a few loungewear slash pyjama sets because it is getting a wee bit warmer. It is getting to summertime and I feel like just because you, it's called pyjamas or loungewear doesn't mean you can't wear it wherever the hell you want. So first one, loungewear set from Peppermint magazine. And again, super simple and you just it's just I want to say really boring it's really boring but that's not a bad thing having plain things isn't a bad thing so I like the fact that the um, the loungewear trousers I'd obviously make these into shorts I love shorts or full-length trousers I like the pockets I've never made this particular type of pocket before and I like the cut of the top as well. I just think it's nice and light and airy and flowy. And I think made in material that's really breathable will be great for like the really hot summers that we seem to get here at the moment. And the next one is by the Assembly Nine, and this is just a pajama set, extremely similar to the peppermint one, um, a slightly different cut, but really there's not much in it. It's just giving you options of where to get different free patterns from really. And last but not least, we have some <laughs> undies. I don't know why they call them undies. Maybe she's Australian. Uh, knickers, pants, whatever you want to call them. I'm sure you can think of a million different names. And these are not usually a, a style that I sort of vibe with or go with, but um, they seem to look good on her. Um, but I like, I like the high-waisted. I feel like you'd feel quite secure in them. And because they're a bit more of a... a a fuller brief compared to a thong and they would be a bit more protective in those days where it's maybe windy and you are wearing a skirt or a dress I think having some really cute knickers underneath if you are gonna accidentally flash the world is just a little bit nicer and I think perfect for scrap fabric as well because it doesn't look like it uses any sort of elastic um, I know a lot of knicker patterns have elastic in it, um, like sewn on, and I really sort of wanted to get away from, I don't want to do that if I'm going to start making my own underwear, I just want to use the natural stretch of the cotton jersey that I'm using. Um, they do have a suggested price, but you can just pay zero. I think, but I think basically what drew me to this pattern is the fact that she's got peach fabric. I think I'm just a sucker for cute fabric. Like, if you had these on and, like, a matching, like, tank top, I think, again, perfect for just going to bed in if you don't want to go to bed, like, naked. I think these are, I just think they're really cute. I think that's why. And I think it's because of the fabric choices. So I know 17 is an odd number of ref pattern recommendations, but I didn't want to do 30, 40, and I thought, like, less than 10 wasn't enough. So... If you like this video, stick around because I'm going to do a dress on and I'm going to go ham on this video. It, I'm going to do the most beautiful dresses. Like you might have a very quiet life, but putting on a fancy casual dress, would it just going to make you want to flounce around. Like 
why wouldn't you? And why the hell not? I made a dress a few weeks ago and I love it and it makes me feel really lovely. So I want to make sure that I've got the most beautiful dresses for this that aren't like prom dresses obviously. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.